Hello, my name is Mike Gag. We're going to look at installing Allegro 5.0 with Visual Studio 2010. Now, there's many different ways you can acquire uh, Allegro 5.0. You can get the, uh, the source code for it and compile it yourself, or you can download it pre-compiled, uh, which is what I've done. Uh, available to you uh, should be the Allegro 5.01 uh, compiled for Microsoft Visual, uh, Visual C++, so that's what the VC is. Uh, 10, which is to Visual Studio 2010, uh, and uh, inside you'll have three folders: a bin folder, an include folder, and the lib folder. And that's the the compiled version of Allegro. Uh, and so to install that, I'm just going to need to open up some stuff here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install the DLL files. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to open up my C drive or whatever your uh, base drive is. I'm going to go into Windows. And I'm going to go into either System32, if you're running a 32-bit system, or SysWow64. Uh, my computer is 64-bit, so I'm going to go in here. Uh, if it's 32-bit, you'd go into Sys32. And then I am just going to open up this bin folder here, and I'm going to take all of these files, and I'm just going to copy them over. Now, I'm not actually going to do that on screen here because I already have it installed, so uh, it would just ask me if I wanted to copy or replace you know, all, these, all these files, and I'm not going to do that. So. But basically, you would just copy them here into the root, uh, and you can see here, once that's done, uh, you will see them all inside this folder. So that handles installing the DLLs. Uh, next, we want to install the, uh, the libraries in the include file. To do that, we're going to back up here, and we are going to go into uh, Program Files, and we are going to find Microsoft Visual Studio 2000. do that, we're going to, I had to hop over here to my E drive because I, I install things on a different drive, I have to go to our program files and look for Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. Uh, once in Microsoft Visual Studio 2010, you're going to look for the VC folder, Visual C++. Uh, and in here you see that you have a bin folder and an include folder. So all you really need to do is you need to take the, the or I'm sorry, the lib folder and the include folder. And once in here, you can see that you have a lib folder and an include folder. So all you really need to do is you need to take these two folders here, uh, include and lib for library, and just drag those over. Once again, I'm not going to do that because I've already installed them and it's just going to ask me if I want to copy and replace over and over, over again. But when you do that, it's going to say, hey, you're going to merge these. Do you want to you know, move all these files over? And you're just going to say yes. Uh, when it's done, you will notice that if you open up your include folder, you have this Allegro 5 here. And if you open up your include folder here, you'll have your Allegro 5 here. And these contain all the different uh, Allegro modules. Likewise, if you open up the LIB folder and the LIB folder, you'll see all of those here. And that's it. That's, that's pretty much the installation of Allegro 5.0 into Visual Studio 2010. Uh, not a lot to it, uh, fairly simple, uh, and once you have that done, we can look at, uh, at generating our, our first test program uh, and making sure everything works.